congrats on the uh, the XXL freshman. Thank you. We won't get into the the beef there, but that's oh, that's yeah. quite an honor. Yeah. So uh, so like a year ago today, where were we at? Were you recording the warm up? Um. Yeah, I was. I was trying to finish that. Um, trying to finish that warm up, and then also I was probably on the road with Wale. I was on the road with Wale. Um, just opening up, like he was doing like a little college tour or something promoting the single at that time. I was just opening up for him. Right. So you have a good relationship with him? I know you yeah, yeah. Together. Yeah, me and Wale is tight. Yeah. So uh, a lot changed in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Um, so now you're on, you're on a college tour yeah. now. Um, one of the, one of the lines in your song, Can I Live, I think it's really interesting that um, Mama told me to speak like you got a college degree. And I can, but I won't. Say what I want. Yeah. And this, just the this slang don't change the back then. Yeah. And is that something that you're conscious of when you're when you're writing? It's sort of like being very conscious of the language that you're using. Yeah, I am. Um, for the most part, I mean, it's not. It's unconscious in the fact that that's you know, that's how I speak. You know, right. for the most part. But um, how can I put it? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess the answer is yes. Uh, you know, so, like, did you like discover a bit about yourself, kind of, and just like it happens to be like, like people that you were talking about any thought? You mean in terms of writing or whatever? Um, I mean, I had to get good at it, basically. Yeah. I mean, I was always good, but I always had I had to perfect it, and you know, obviously work on the craft or whatever. So now it just kind of comes natural. Even stuff that I write that might be that I might feel is like subpar is probably not to the outside world, so that's, you know, how good I got at it. Do you still write, though? Not just the yeah, 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 I still write, though. Do you remember your first rap? Man, I don't remember it. I remember one of my first raps, that was real corny. <laughs> it was like something, um, something about some doze and smoking on some doze. Like, it was a Master B type rap. Remember No Limit or whatever? Oh, yeah. It was kind of like that. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I knew we're curious in, um, Oh uh, yeah, I'm afraid of nothing on it, yeah. Um, well, I guess like it's so it's so interesting like southern, you know, Eastern, Western that caught me kind of yeah. like but you know, you're signed to a New York label. How yeah. do you kind of like keep, you know, repping your like style? Um, like I think that's important. I love Southern Yeah. So Even though my my style isn't like the most uh like stereotypical down south sound. I, I think I just try to rep as hard as I can and really just paint the picture of like, you know, the city that I come from and the state that I come from and I feel like that does, that represents it, you know, so just because I ain't got the goals or, you know, I'm not uh, making dance music and um, it's not the stereotypical sound, it still represents, you know, it doesn't matter where you, you know, it doesn't matter what your music sounds like, it's like, it's what raised you to kind of shape it in most yeah. cases. Yeah, exactly. Do you think, and I think it's, it's really important to do that in an age with a mixtape particularly over, and that you've had an incredible success with your mixtape, but that the internet in some ways kind of, I guess it like changes the conception of geography. Yeah. Like, so do you, do you think you use your lyrics to like hold on to that? Or? Yeah, in a way, I just really super duper rep like the city that I'm from, and I just, you know, it shows a lot of people that like, why is he, you know, that's like the joke. You know how 50 Cent always says, uh, what's the rhymes? He always says good and hood. He always rhymes like those. People always try to say, like, I always say Bill and real. But I always super duper rep it because I felt like it was always, when I was coming up, we were so ignored. You know what I'm saying? We still are yeah. so ignored. That's why I kind of overdo it. So when I come out and if I, you know, if I make it, you can be in California. Somebody be like, oh, where you from, Fayetteville? Oh, the Ville. Or when you tell somebody from you're from North Carolina, you're like, oh, you ever been to the Ville? Like that's how it is. Yeah. And when you meet somebody from Brooklyn and you're not really from New York, you're gonna ask them. If you're a Jay Z fan, you're like, yo, you ever been to Marcy? And they're gonna laugh and be like, yeah, but what's the, you know, what's the big deal? But you think it's cool because Jay was, you know, he's been rapping about it his whole life. You, uh, can you talk a bit about your relationship with Jay? Did the Star is Born, right? Yeah. Um, you signed up with Rock Nation. Yeah. Um, you, you guys close? Yeah, I went. I mean, close as close as you could be with a with a, a relationship like this. Yeah. But I, 
yeah, it's like yeah. a business, but it's a business relationship. The thing I like about it is it's a business relationship that's growing yeah. into a friendship. Yeah. And those things, when it's natural and it's real, it doesn't happen that quick. It doesn't happen, you know, overnight. You got to, I don't even have an album out or a single out. It's like, so, so therefore I appreciate every talk that I get. And when we do talk or whatever the case is, it's always great. Um, but it's not like, I always try to smash the concept that like we're best friends. Because I feel like people want me to say that. You know what I'm saying? That's not what it is. You know, it's, but it's really organic. And it's really like, it's kind of cool to see the relationship grow. It's so interesting too, because... Big Daddy Kane helped Jay Z get his start, and yeah. now here you are. At the Big Daddy, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. But uh, <clears throat> just a couple, uh, just a few like random questions. Like, what is your favorite song on your iPod right now? Man, I don't know. Whoever has my iPod though, can I please get it back? <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my iPod recently, but um, you probably hear a lot of me because that's what I'm listening to right now. When I'm in like album mode. I just really just go through all my stuff and just try to sort it out and see what I'm missing. And of course, I always go back to the Outkast and, uh, and the Tupacs and, uh, and the Kanye's and the Lauryn Hills. But for the most part, I'm kind of just locked in to my, yeah, what I got so far. Yeah. Like, you're not just, like, settling, like, oh, I just did this one verse, like, yeah. you know, put it on email. Oh, exactly, yeah, absolutely. I'm, like, um, I'm, like, too much of a perfectionist. Like, I got high standards, so if I drop the album how I had it right now today, some people are like, oh, man, that's a classic, but I'm not satisfied with it yet, you know, because I know I could do better, so. When can we expect it? Hopefully summertime, man. Hopefully uh, mid to late summer, depending on how everything goes. Does it have, I don't know how much you can give away. Yeah. It has like, do you think it has like a summer feel to it? Yeah, it's got some summer, some summertime songs. It also got some fall, winter songs. Yeah, it's, year got, round album. Yeah, it's definitely a year round album. Um, as of right now, but as, I didn't even look at it like that. It's got a, a few, more than a few, like great summertime songs. But then it's not like a, just a summertime album. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like. All over, not all over the place, but a whole place. It's like a roller coaster, like emotions and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this is kind of off topic, but what's your favorite Jay Z song? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's your favorite Jay Z song? I feel like that's where I would shine. Yeah. Yeah, definitely I would, man. I feel like I'd be, I don't know what type of artist I'd be. I'd try to be like Curtis Mayfield yeah. or something if I could. But yeah, I'd definitely go back there as opposed to Tony the Big Man. I mean, it's cool, but it's like it just, it doesn't move me as much. That yeah. music never really moved me as much. I tried. You know, you try to like dive into all music, but I never really, I couldn't really ever get into that. What about, which is a sort of similar question, if you could have Dr. Dre or Premiere produce an entire album for you? An entire album, Dre or Premiere? That's tough, man. That's hard. It depends on which Premiere and which Dre we talking about. Yeah. Like, I mean, the best, you know, in their primes. In their primes. Prime. Not saying they're not in their primes now, but there was like a specific, yeah. Period. Like yeah. Like exactly. The Gangstar era from here. Yeah. The Chronicles. Yeah. See, that's the tough. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even. I just want them both because, <laughs> like, the premiere is kind of where I got my. Like that school is where I got my production style from. So I want to say him, but then the Chronic Dre was just so ridiculous that I don't really. Then I can't even answer that question. I don't know. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Um, are you producing a lot of the tracks on this new yeah, album? Yeah. The whole album. The whole album? Uh, not the whole album. Not the whole album. Yeah, there's no idea on that too. Um, but, you know, I'm producing a whole lot. Um, yeah, I keep, that's really one thing I'm excited about, like, people to hear. Yeah. yeah. Do you, uh, do you have any problems with, like, the production process? Like, do you have to kind of think about what you're going to do? Every now and then I had a concept and just wait on the beat, but for the most part, to be in there. Yeah. I think 
Yo, yo, this is J. Cole, the rock is in the building, and you're now listening to Love Songs for the Swagglers on 91.3 FM. Yeah.